The Binding of Isaac is peak gaming. It's this perfect balance between playability and replayability. I have hundreds and hundreds of hours and I'm still unlocking new stuff. It's crazy. There's over 700 items, 34 playable characters. You can play this game infinitely and then you can start modding it and play it infinitely, infinitely. Roguelikes are peak replayability. You can play the game over and over and over. Once you find a game that you like, you can just restart the run and play a new version of that same game over and over. And standing at the very very forefront of roguelike gaming is Isaac. This game has had a special place in my heart ever since I first booted it up in 2014. I started playing when Rebirth came out and it was a completely different game. The meta has changed constantly since then. We've gotten new items and new characters and new ways of playing the game. I remember in the past you're just supposed to go take the first devil deal because it was so broken. But now the angel room items are so broken that you just go for those. And you would think you're supposed to just spend your rerolls in the angel room. But no, you're supposed to do it in the secret room. As much as I love this game, my favorite part about it is breaking the game. I just recorded a run to try and show you guys, hey, I re-rolled the angel room and got sacred heart. Maybe I was wrong, but then I found a secret room item and I re-rolled it twice and got glitched crown. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just play this out because it's fun. Glitch crown's my favorite item. But I still wanted to just, you know, re-roll the angel room for a little footage on this video so I could show you, hey, hey, look, I got a sacred heart. And then the one angel room I got the entire time, I was blind. I was blind for it. I even tried two sacrifice rooms, no luck. But it's all good, because once I got to the chest, I got C-section soy milk, so, uh, yeah. And then I rerolled the secret room once, and I got rock bottom, and then, you know, I already took soy milk, so whatever. I remember back in my day, we could use blank card infinitely with Yara and break the game as soon as we found a battery. Or just different times back then, it was just different times. You could find two steam sales, and every single item in the shop's free, and then you find a restock, and then it recycles until you find chaos, and then you got every single item in the game. I remember when I first unlocked the Yara rune. At first, I just didn't even unlock any other runes purposefully. That way I could just break the game every single time, almost guaranteed. But that's enough of the past. Today, the Isaac online beta officially released. Something I've been waiting for for months. And it's almost Christmas, but it felt like Christmas today. I woke up, grabbed some coffee, and jumped headfirst into the beta. I've never actually played a video game beta before, so this was like brand new to me. So I read the whole dev blog. I even backed up my saves like a good little boy. It took me like half an hour to get into the game because I have a bunch of mods installed and I had to unsubscribe from them in the workshop. I could tell I had some of the most completion between me and three of the other people. So I wasn't really going for a completion. I was just going for like, hey, maybe we'll get a completion mark here, but nobody went the route I needed. So I just booted in with Eve just for fun because I like the character. Even though a lot of people hate that character, I like the character. And I figured it's probably gonna be pretty hard to get angel rooms along the way. So I just wanted to take the first devil deal and get really OP really quick. The first game didn't go so smoothly. It was kind of laggy, so it was kind of difficult to actually beat the game. We got to Shoal and I was the only person alive. I had dead cat, but I only had one heart. And across the map, I had to go through this multiple boss room that wouldn't be very difficult, but it was because the game was laggy and I was the only one actually doing anything. So I died. Yeah, skill issue or whatever, like six times. I I'm bad, it happens. And then I wanted to queue in with new people but they just hit restart immediately, so I just jumped in and played from the beginning with them again as Eve, even though I wanted to change, but I'm Eve. This game still had some lag issues, but it wasn't too bad. It was playable. I had an okay start, couple tears up, some good health. Then I ran into my first big bug, and maybe it wasn't big bug, it was just really laggy, but I did a Cards Against Humanity in this big room, and it just made it unplayably laggy. I'm talking like one to five FPS. It was gross, but we ran with it for the rest of the floor. And it was still really bad on the next floor as well. And that downpour too was rough. Of course the lag was bad, but also half my team members didn't have mantle. I didn't know, we couldn't have known. We had curse of the unknown, but once we got out of downpour, it fixed itself and returned to the original amount of lag which is still a little laggy, but not that bad. This one guy in our party wanted to go alt pass the whole time, which I'm fine with, love me some downpour, but I don't really like the mother route that much because it's just like not as fun and not as long. And we lost in corpse one. I don't think I've ever lost to this guy before, but I did here. I think one of my favorite things about Isaac Online is that it gives you new marks. These little marks come blue now, meaning that you beat it online. 
So it gives you a reason to replay characters that you love that you already have all the marks for. So I did just that. I queued into an online game with The Lost, who I already have all the marks for. And just like that, the second item I got was Crown of Light. Look at that. But I got so happy that I ran right into a fire and died. Luckily, I came back a floor later with Crown of Light. And on that same floor, my teammate found Tech X, so it was just a quality four run. Then we went and did Boss Rush and got Sci-Fly. It was just me and one other person. And that other person was the person at the beginning that had no marks on the character they were playing. But don't underestimate people with zero marks. They were killing it. They carried my ass when I died for that Crown of Light. But unfortunately, my brain didn't register that there was no Polaroid. So that hush fight was as far as we went, but we did no hit that hush fight. Unfortunately, that means no chest, no delirium, but hey, a win's a win. The world of online Isaac is crazy. The balance between cooperative and competitive is unmatched. I had some games where people were just very gentlemanly and stood around items until the correct person picked it up. And I also had some people that just shotgunned right to the items. I had a great time playing this beta today, and I hope that you guys did too. That's really all I got for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you liked it. Hey, look at this box. This is a really low number. Subscribe. And thanks for watching.